So I think open science in a, in a very easy definition means making science available to the public for free. That means not only making it easily visible and accessible, but also so that the public can understand it, so that it is transparent, so that it can be reused and re-evaluated by everyone. Well, I'm, first of all, I would like to mention I, I very like uh, the fact sheet. I think it's a very important document for Switzerland, for our research community. And actually all these recommendations there, I think they're like five or six, are, are very important. Particularly important for me, it's uh, the, the fact data quality and data management. So the idea to implement, so they call it uh, data stewardess, so that people who are really good at handling data and also ensuring the quality of data are teaching the students and the community how to go along with data. I think that's a very important recommendation. One was um, the recommendation that um, all the policies need to into, take into account that there are early career scientists and that the evaluation of early career scientists should take into account these kind of changes. Um, for example, that not the journal where you publish is relevant, but the article that you actually write, the quality of the article you actually write should be relevant. And I see that each country is a bit different, because mainly because the funding schemes are different, so the way research is funded. And a lot in open science is driven by the mandates and the politics, the way money is distributed, the way performance indicators work. Switzerland is different than other countries. But I am pleased to see that Europe as a whole is moving forward setting up a good editorial board for a journal, for instance. So these predatory journals, they just want, let's say, your money, so you have to pay, so it's just the business they pursue. And so that's, that's the danger that students or young scientists who don't know where to publish are going to publish in these new predatory journals, which are bombarding you with emails every day because they want to sell their journals. So there I think that's, that's a danger we uh, have to face and we have to really come up with solutions with like lists of open access journals which are not predatory, which are really high quality journals in the future. Well, I think um, as many things, the cost element, so libraries aren't given more resources to do all this. We have to take money away from our print budgets to support electronic resources. Open science will cost a lot of money. The libraries are here to make sustainable models for the future. So Switzerland has the ability and I think also the responsibility here to move forward. And the other thing I, I think is very important, um, Switzerland takes a leading role in not rushing, but thinking about how this transition period can be managed best. Because there are not only opportunities, there are many opportunities, but there are also risks. The open science movement, it's a great movement, and I think it's probably the only way, or one of the best way in the future to communicate among scientists, but not only among scientists, I think among every person who is interested in science.